another book review for this month what we're gonna be doing is taking a look at another sword and laser pick to get to get caught up on that for the video reviews on the channel this time we're taking a look at under fortunate stars by ren hutchings now a time travel concept that i've encountered before but i didn't really think of it as a recurring sub sub genre or story concept is the don't meet your heroes story with the and then alternative addendum of, or do, I'm not your parental figure. Basically a story where the main characters travel back in time, either intentionally or unintentionally, and end up meeting someone, uh, either a singular person or multiple people, who are on the eve of doing something instrumental to the timeline, who one or more of the protagonists idealizes, with the grand reveal being that they aren't the kind of person that history has remembered them as being. Now, Under Fortunate Stars by Ren Hutchings um, this is a really good example of this kind of story. It follows the research special Galleon, which is currently between academic seasons, so they're taking on some charter work, settling a diplomat from the uh, Felon, a alien race that humanity has previously been at war with. Well, that war was stopped by the crew of the Jonah, known as the Fortunate Five, who managed to negotiate a peace treaty after a desperate mission to a world that the Felon had besieged, a major capital world. Um, and stopped a war that would have ultimately destroyed both races. After the Jonah encounters a spatial rift that knock out their, in or sorry, after the Galleon encounters a spatial rift that it knocks out their engines, they find that what they are in the same area is the Jonah, which has also been knocked out by the same rift, and they aren't actually on a heroic mission of diplomacy on the crew. Well, what a bunch of a holes. In a way, this fits nicely with, among other things, uh, Star Trek: First Contact in terms of a science fiction story about a bunch of people who potentially could, and in the future did, save the f future for the better, for multiple worlds. But in the present, they're kind of a bunch of self-serving discs, dicks out of desperation and cynicism due to the hard circumstances they're in, who need a push in the right direction to do the right thing. What helps this particular version of the story work is that it puts a whole bunch of time and effort into getting into where the crew of the Jonah came from. We get plenty of flashbacks from every other chapter to one of the members of the crew's backgrounds to see why they have the worldviews that they do, with one exception. The Jonah's mechanic is no such backstory, and he's also kind of there just to be a directly antagonistic figure to be overcome. The story also goes really fast. It helps that, and it feels weird saying, that this is a story for science fiction fans. It works in a whole bunch of concepts that people would have had science familiarity with. It's aware of the fact that this is a science fiction story made in a post star trek world or post babylon 5 or that sort of thing so you can take f concepts similar to like say star trek and the federation or that sort of thing and use it as a framework to build off of um this all made for a book that moved very fast and i got through very quickly not because i was in a hurry but because like like this was their March pick and I got through it very early in the month, but more because it was a book that moved with a purpose. I would definitely give this book a full recommendation. And while I don't know if to get nominated for anything, I will say this is the next time something by Ren Hutchings comes out, I'm definitely going to give it a look. He's, they're definitely going on my uh, Goodreads follow this author list. There are, And with this recommendation, there'll be links in the doobly doo below for where you can consider picking up a copy. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. <laughs>